What's up guys, the iPhone 12 leaks are back, Apple has something insanely powerful cooking this year, but there is a major L, that Apple has taken once again, in the past couple of months we've heard that iPhone 12 series will have a smaller notch, but turns out, Apple will be using the same notch that they introduced on the iPhone 10 series back in 2017 on this year's iPhone 12 models, the leaked display part has confirmed the size of the notch and will it matter definitely for some people who want the most specialist design. And the higher refresh rate displays, the 2020 standard for a flagship smartphone, is a 1440p 120Hz display, we have it from Oppo, OnePlus, Samsung all the major players have this of course with the punch hole design, but Apple on the other hand are not only sticking with the notch but also 60Hz refresh rate, now Apple knows the market and this is exactly why they have lined up the pricing of the iPhone 12 models this year. This is exactly why they have introduced two non-pro models instead of just one, they're counting more on these affordable iPhone 12 models compared to the Pro series, because these could actually be the most best-selling phones out there, as we have seen a sales report via media that iPhone 11 still tops the best sales chart, because of the success they realize the potential, of what they can bring to the table with the affordable iPhone 12 price, according to the latest pricing, it seems that the iPhone 12 the 5G model might be a little bit more expensive, than the previously leaked price, so it could start at $699 all the way up to $1100, for the Pro Max, now we may still have the same knowledge, but Apple is said to bring slimmer bezels, than the current iPhone 11 Pro lineup, and they're also said to bring a iPhone 5 style, stainless steel design a bit boxy side which will feel super premium in hand, Apple has also changed the camera arrangement a bit as well. According to the latest leak, this is how the LiDAR sensor could look on the final model, it's a bit smaller on the side, and apparently the LiDAR sensor could also be present on the non-pro iPhone 12 models, which is a nice thing to see. According to a turtle lister Apple's LiDAR sensor will have special features, that will assist in photography, and it may not be available readily on launch it could be something they will introduce with iOS 14.1 update, this is a similar thing Apple did with the iPhone. 11 Pro lineup with their deep fusion update on the iOS 13.2, as for the actual camera sensor, Apple is still sticking to a 12 megapixel sensor, but reportedly a new sensor with better optics, Apple has tested a 64 megapixel sensor, but the results weren't satisfying, so they are sticking with a fast auto focusing 12 megapixel sensor, as always we can definitely see huge improvements to the video performance, as well as the rumored astrophotography mode. So once again the same notch design, but you're getting the most powerful compact phone in the world, at $699, thanks to the Apple A14, which is going to be a monster processor, taking the iPhone 12 lineup to a whole new level. The 865 Plus inside the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, just barely matches the A13, so the A14 will bring the gap to an even next level, this is one of the reason why Samsung is reportedly spending billions of dollars in order to surpass Apple and Qualcomm in the next 10 years, when it comes to the processor race but Apple is currently on a whole new level it's going to be very hard for Samsung to match this performance, according to the league, the CPU gains can be 40% more than the Apple A13 chip, at the same time we can have up to 50% GPU gains that is a serious increase in horsepower, the A14 is also a 5 nanometer processor so in addition to be super powerful, it's also going to be a lot more efficient compared to the 7 nanometer Apple A13, Apple is so powerful that they're bringing these chips to their MacBooks, yes we are talking desktop level performance, there might be a A14X later on or something even more powerful, but inside the iPhone, it's just going to be really really overpowered. One thing where Apple will absolutely take advantage of this A14 chip is when it comes to the video performance, we've heard that 4K 120fps, is something that Apple can bring with, a much higher dynamic range, I mean these videos can look really really good compared to the competition, now another report claims that next year is almost confirmed that Apple will be using 120Hz LTPO old panel from Samsung, as will other brands right now, it is exclusive to the Note 20 Ultra, it is adaptive and highly power efficient it's one of the reasons, why Apple didn't do 120Hz on the iPhone 12 lineup, 
so this is something that we're going to see next year most likely on the iPhone 13. And finally regarding the launch, we have a very interesting news. It says that Apple might be launching the iPhone 12 inches two parts. The 6.1 inch models may arrive a little bit earlier than the 6.7 inch and the highly anticipated 5.4 inch model. Apple has already confirmed on record that this year's models could be delayed till October, and finally as reported by Everything Apple Pro, Apple is bringing some magnets to the iPhone 10 chassis, so this is going to be for reverse wireless charging, it's also going to make the new iPhone 12 compatible with some of the wireless charging accessories that Apple will make available later down the year. So that's all the latest news regarding the iPhone 12 series, so what do you think about it? Do let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below. And if you like this video, subscribe the channel will be amazing. My name is Arjun, this is Digital Outside, I'll catch you in the next one.